All right, guys, welcome to the video. Uh, this one is a long time coming. Uh, been various setbacks uh, to the release and honestly editing uh, of this video uh, to software crashing to files being uh, deleted and so on and so forth. Uh, but it is uh, finally released and I will be playing uh, Spider-Man Remastered on the PC with a bit of a twist. So, as an artist, when I get on YouTube, I'm typically looking for inspiration for an idea of a drawing that I have, or I'm looking for a distraction uh, because I've gotten frustrated again and I'm spiraling in self-pity. Anyway, this video is designed to give my fellow artists either one or both inspiration and distraction, and if nothing else, uh, y'all get to see me punch uh, Kingpin around and I draw a pretty picture afterwards. So, how does the Spidey Gaming Art video work, you ask? I'm glad you asked. No, I mean, I'm, I'm really, I'm really glad you asked. Well, for this video in the series, the times that I die while playing will have an effect on what I then after draw, hence the gaming art. So, I already know that I will be dying at least once by the time I have recorded the intro. Therefore, a challenge for zero deaths isn't necessary. Anywho, for one death, I will be tasked to draw a head portrait of a character. Uh, basically something simple and easy I can do as a kind of a reward for uh, being halfway decent at the game. But that would be boring, so maybe I'll die twice, which would mean that I would have to draw a full figure drawing of a character, which my fellow hobbyist artist would agree can be quite daunting. Uh, but maybe I'm terrible at the game and I'll die three times, which would mean I would have to add a background to the drawing. And for four and so on, it'll get more involved uh, with adding different characters or inking, etc. Obviously, I want to make this a uh, make this a series. So for future videos, I would like you guys' input. Uh, any challenges in the game or for drawing would be greatly appreciated in the comments below. For example, you might say, "Hey." None Punch Man, you have to fight on the ground uh, for the entire video, no launching enemies in the air to avoid damage, and if you die, you have to draw left-handed, since you're right-handed. To that I would say, you are a very, very mean individual, but that is a great idea. Uh, so, without further ado, subscribe, and let's get into the game, and hopefully not dying too much. Get him! Who's ready for their hot, fresh cup of bodily harm? So, a few things. I have never played a game outside of Minecraft on the PC, so not only am I playing this game on the hardest difficulty available to me, I am doing so on keyboard and mouse, which I am embarrassingly a noob at. So, starting off, this should be interesting. As my uh, conscious always says, if there's a hard way of doing something, I will find it. See, I'm kind of a masochist when it comes to things like this, which has probably shortened my lifespan by a few years, but hey, I'm here for a difficult time, not a long time. That's, that's how the saying goes, right? He's the deck, Willie. Heads up! Hey, where are you going? Get! I'll clear a path. Follow me! Okay, so I've progressed through the opening section of this wonderful game, relatively unscathed. Uh, and I've noticed that for me, the camera is a bit frustrating to control on the mouse. So, if I have you staring at a wall instead of the action, uh, please enjoy the video anyway. You know, you wouldn't want to hurt the wall's feelings, I mean, would you? I mean, the wall has to go to work and pay bills like the rest of us. You know, it might have a lot of things on its mind, but it still is showing up to get enemies webbed up against it, you know? Yeah, let's move on. So, as you can tell, the strategy I have implemented is uh, really staying in the air for uh, as long as possible. So that would mean that the uh, very mean individual's idea I mentioned in the intro would be uh, devastating to my strategy and quite possibly my success, but maybe it'd make it an entertaining video. You tell me in the comments. You know, uh, as I'm getting more comfortable with the uh, key and mouse uh, controls 
and punching enemies in the face, the more I realize I might have overestimated the challenge uh, this would be. So, I mean, I've barely gotten hit so far, um, and I've only sweated like twice in the 30 or so minutes I have been playing. So, uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna say it. I think this is pretty easy. I think that so much, in fact, that I think we are ready to move on to Kingpin. Yeah. Let's beat up on old Wilson Disc. So, here we are, ready to take down Wilson Fisk uh, once and for all. Um, I will be honest, I forgot that there would be more enemies in this section, uh, so I'm kind of scared, but we shall see how this goes. Okay, perfect. We'll just uh, hit him with the finisher, avoid the enemies, because uh, I kind of had myself uh, surrounded there for a second. Wait, 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 wait. I'm still... Alright, I'm at one health. Um, all I gotta do is uh, stay calm and... I think this is pretty easy. Okay, so that just happened. Uh, let's chalk that up as a fluke. Um, and kind of change our strategy up a little bit. And try and beat up on the uh, surrounding enemies first. Before we try and hit Wilson Fisk. I think this is pretty easy. Okay, okay. I will admit, got a little bit cocky there, but let's settle down and beat this section. See, kids, don't get cocky. Don't be like me, okay? Just have fun playing the game and actually be good. You can't be good if you're cocky. Oh, that's, that's all I'm saying. So, we've cleared out all the enemies, and I think we're pretty close at finally, finally, beating uh, Wilson Fisk, and then we'll move on to some uh, art. Should we kiss now? Yeah, maybe later. Alright, so obviously I died two times, so I will be drawing a full figure drawing of, hey, you guessed it, Spider-Man. And I will say I used a bunch of inspiration from uh, Pinterest on this one, so I will have that linked in the description. Uh, another thing of note is that most of, if not all, of uh, my longer and bigger drawing projects, I typically put a uh, blue pencil construction layer in uh, before going back over with my 2B pencil that you see here. Um, and before I start talking about my uh, process in this drawing uh, further, uh, I would like to say that uh, this six or so minutes that I'm gonna have my uh, drawing footage going, uh, if you want to pause the video real quick and uh, grab your sketch pad or paper and pencil uh, and draw along, you can do so now. Uh, because, you know, whenever I make these um, uh, drawing videos, I try to design them in a way uh, where people can uh, draw along. And with exception to uh, this video where I'll be uh, commentating pretty much all the way through, uh, I like to give almost an ASMR feel to them. For example, my uh, how to uh, draw noses uh, video, uh, so that you can uh, that you feel like you can uh, draw along with the video. So again, grab your pencil and draw along if you so choose. Otherwise, enjoy some drawing. Uh, now, I am uh, by no means a pro, uh, so whenever I say something, it's more of me explaining how uh, I've gone about learning or drawing this particular uh, thing. And I try to stay away from, like, 
rules and uh, how to's and focus on more of hey you can do it this way if you want or you can do it this way if it works for you so I have uh, sped up the footage footage for time purposes uh, just to let you know that I am not drawing this fast uh, in real time uh, I wish I could draw this fast in real time uh, I feel like I would uh, get a lot more done and maybe uh, feel a little less uh, frustrated with myself uh, if that were the case but uh, anywho I have split up uh, the drawing footage in three different parts uh, the hair uh, this hand and mask that you see here and the next part which is the uh, shading of the legs and so on and I focused on these three because those are typically uh, weaknesses of mine uh, particularly the hair and the uh, shading uh, but also because uh, those were the areas that uh, I take from other artists the most. Uh, and I wanted to show how, you know, I changed them in a way that uh, it can still be considered my own uh, drawing. Uh, basically, I wanted to show you that uh, you can copy, but not copy, if that makes any sense. I believe David Finch called it uh, swiping which is a uh, good video if you have not uh, seen that one yet uh, I would recommend uh, checking that one out and just to uh, clarify uh, I am meaning like don't copy uh, exactly the um, from from another artist uh, when you're going about drawing a uh, picture that you're gonna claim as your own um, but obviously, like, if you're practicing, um, you can, um, you know, copy it exactly, uh, just to kind of learn, uh, what they, what they are doing, um, how they're doing a certain thing, like, uh, you know, shading a leg or something. Um, but yeah, just don't claim that drawing as your own. Okay, so now we know not to swipe from other artists. Glad we uh, cleared that one up. Anywho, uh, one thing that I have noticed uh, when watching this footage uh, back in hindsight is that I didn't necessarily give the drawing a uh, focal point. Um, and obviously the face in any drawing uh, draws your attention, uh, but more so what I'm meaning is the way that I have been... Um, trying to uh, bring about a focal point is to kind of implement uh, kind of a uh, big medium small in the uh, detail that I put in a drawing uh, so you know for example I have areas that are extremely detailed uh, kind of like when the camera is super focused in on the uh, subject and then I have areas where I don't really have any shading or lines um, and that would be like when the camera isn't focused in all the way on the subject, more like um, how it is in uh, the background. The background's kind of fuzzy and the uh, subject is um, in full detail. And obviously uh, you got uh, the middle, which is in between those two. Um, and I implemented this uh, better in my uh Wednesday Adams uh, sketch short where I left some parts uh, sketchier than than others uh, for example the uh, top of her head is a little bit more um, sketchy than like her bangs or her eyes uh, which you know really drew the um, really drew the eye to the focal point which was her eyes um, at least that is uh, what I think it does uh, check it out and uh, let me know what you think um, but anyway, uh, with this uh, drawing, I feel like I was kind of stuck in this uh, medium stage um, on, you know, the entire thing. Um, and, you know, that could have something to do with my uh, skill level and how uncomfortable I am with certain aspects of a drawing, particularly the uh, figure in general, where I'll have areas that I know how to uh, shade very well, and then I'll have other areas where... I don't know the slightest idea of how to make the shading look good. Um, so, you know, I almost subconsciously start drawing in this just medium detail uh, drawing mode. Um, I hope this is uh, making some sort of um, sense. 
and uh, you know at first thought you might think well just make the areas you don't shade well uh, those small detailed areas uh, you know which works for uh, certain poses uh, but not everyone especially when uh, kind of the idea for the pose uh, comes first so then I'll have to uh, adapt to the pose rather than change uh, the pose or the figure to fit my uh, shading strengths um, and it really just you know comes back to uh, study and, and practice and you know what kind of reference you're using and what kind of um, you know practice that you are doing anyway this is getting to be uh, the end of the video um, and the finished uh, drawing will be at the very end but I hope that uh, this has both been uh, and kind of an inspiration for you just to uh, you know start drawing and practicing but also uh, maybe a bit of a distraction if you've been uh, down on your art like I have as of late uh, but anywho I hope you enjoyed uh, if you did please leave a like uh, comment and subscribe so you won't miss out on uh, part two uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.